Another sort of breaking news that's obviously happened live on the stream, and we were going to discuss it anyway because it was pretty certain that it was um, going to happen, and that is uh, Jer Brennan has come to uh, Loud. He has been announced as the Loud Senior Football Manager on a two-year term with the option of a third, as you'll see on screen there, announced by Lau GA themselves. So kind of disappointed that Derry G GA didn't uh, announce it, uh, considering Loud announced that uh, Derry's manager. But uh, it does say here he's joined by uh, Noel Moyna, James McCartan, David White, James Downey, and Paul O'Flynn. So as we were chatting off air there, like James McCartan, that's some backroom team there from uh, from a Loud perspective. And what do you think about this one, Ger Brennan? Like he obviously doesn't have senior inter county management. He's been involved with Kildare, he's been involved with Wicklow as well. I think he's been involved with Bray Emmett's um in the past couple of years. He's he's been involved with a few different teams, but this is a big, big job for him and um some shoes to fill in Mickey Hart. Huge, huge. It really is a big job for uh Ger Brennan. But um he does have his coaching badges over the last few seasons. He's been involved in clubs down through the years, so he did definitely probably is the right man to get in in terms of um, a kind of a rookie to to get in. Like, it, it, it's a tough one, really, because you look at Andy Ward at Leitrim, hasn't worked out. Um, Power Joyce has worked out, uh, works out at Galway. So it's kind of 50-50 to see what uh, Ger Brennan could do. But I'm really intrigued at what he's brought in the backroom team over the last um, while or so. Nine minor. I, I, I've been a real fan of him over the last few seasons. Like he, he's been um, in the St. Vincent's background team. He's big into you know data and psychology and things like that. And he will definitely be uh, very good for the low players out of the mansion. James McCartan is an interesting one. Like he, he basically got been by down I think last season um, for Conor Laverty. So it'd be interesting to see him come back in. Like obviously he's an all the finalist. So maybe it's a stroke of luck for it down to get in. And um, people. Are, talking over the last week or so about Mickey Graham coming in and giving Andy Moore a hand maybe it's the same thing with Lode maybe James McCartan does come in to give um, Joe Brennan a bit of a hand here but Joe Brennan All-Ireland champion in 2011 and 2013 I don't think he was part of the 15 team but two All-Ireland still is an excellent um, you know collection of All-Ireland medals there so he's definitely the right man to come in and um, you know do well at Lode I don't think he'll do as well as Mickey Hart though like Mickey Hart is an unbelievable coach, and um, he's one of the most legendary coaches in um, the history of the game. The main challenge for Joe Brennan, though, is to keep low division two. Simply, like it's going to be interesting actually, because I I think for Manor are going down, so it's going to be between Low and Cavan to stay up. And who's who do you know? It's two rookie managers in Raymond Gallagher and Joe Brennan. Should be very interesting actually to see who stays up in Division 2 next season. And it's kind of a unique situation, isn't it, Aaron? That two rookie managers are in charge of a team of teams that are so close to each other in the, the Allianz League. Yeah, and they're not far, they're not far away from each other geographically speaking, as well, Loudon and Cavan. So um yeah, like it, it is going to be interesting, all right. Like, and uh, to be fair, I wouldn't I, I still think Mead could potentially be there, thereabouts, potentially in a in a, in a relegation battle, but you probably it's would because look you at hate them, I'd say, just... uh, well, you know, there's a bit of bit of favoritism, maybe you know that way. But it, but at the same time, I do look. I, I think I know they won the Talchin Cup and everything else. And uh, to be fair, I don't think they will get relegated. I will I will say that, but I think they could still be potentially in the mix. Maybe Kildare could be could be in the mix as well. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see what happens. But um, but yeah, but no, but look, loud. I, I think it's going to be a tough job for for Jerry Brennan to be honest with you, just because. Taken over from Mickey Hart, what he built. Like the fact that they got the third last season, got to a Leinster final, like they can't really have a better season than what they've had. Do you know that way? Like, don't get me wrong, they could go to a, if they go into the Talchin Cup, maybe they go on a run in that and, and maybe they could possibly get to a final or win that. But it is going to be a tough job. Look, it's going to be tough because Mickey Hart would have, you know, you're talking about going from the most experienced manager that there is to an absolute rookie do you know what i mean as you said like in, in someone who hasn't managed at inter-county level i know jerry brennan's been there and you know he was obviously there when dublin won the all Ireland in 2011 2013 he's meant to be you know quite uh one of the biggest sort of leaders within the team but it's a it's a big big job it's a big big job and it's i do think it's different from managing you know he's been managing big clubs in wicklow he's been managing in kildare it's going to be different going to going to Loud. And um, look, hopefully, from a Dublin perspective, it works out because, um, you know, as a, as a Dublin man, I want to see as many Dublin managers do as well as possible. But um, I do think it'll be a tough job for him, though. 
Should be a very tough job. And they, probably the main aim for Joe Brennan. Like, they've reached the Leinster final already with uh, Mickey Hart last season. So, I don't think getting a pummeling off Dublin and Crow Park would be a main aim for Joe Brennan. I think the main thing is to stay up with Division 2 and achieve uh, Sam McGuire next season. And if you're in the Tanji Cup, go on and win it. Because Lowe definitely have the capabilities. When you look at Sam Roy, the brilliant player that he is, he's one of the best players in the country, in my opinion, anyway. If you get Kieran Downey firing, Conor Early, like Conor Early's had the experience of playing in the Dublin Championship with the Fiend this season. So what good has that done to him moving back to the low panel? So like, they definitely have potential in the low team to do okay in the Division 2. I just feel like it's going to be a straight up battle between them and Cavan to stay up. I don't see Kildare and Meath getting dragged in, to be honest with you, Aaron. I know you have Dublin biases and all that, but if you're saying Kildare and Meath are going to get dragged in, like you have to mention Cork to get dragged in as well, and I don't think that's going to happen. So, like, I, I would say Lowell and Cavan are probably the two that um, are aiming to avoid uh, relegation for Division 2. It's going to be a very, very close call, and it's going to be interesting actually to see. You have James McCartan in the backroom team for Lode. You have Eamon Murray in the backroom team for Cavan. You have also uh, Stephen O'Neill in the backroom team for Cavan. You have Nine Mine in the backroom team for Lode. It's going to be interesting. It really is going to be interesting to see them um, come up and uh, pit their wits against each other. And um, yeah, I'm all for it. That should be an exciting game. I'm actually not sure where it would be. Brett. RD. Um, if it's on an RD, it'll be a job for Joe Brennan next season. And um, yeah, it's going to be tough for, for him to keep a uh, load of the division next season. But um, it's going to be the same as the to aim to stay up with Division 2 next season. And um, the battle between the Division 2 next season and home advantage is going to be absolutely key. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I've no idea where that game will be played. In fairness, it's been a while since Loud and, and Cavan played each other in the league. So, yeah, it, it should be an interesting, interesting game. No, no doubt about it. When that does come around, and um, it should be interesting to keep an eye on the Division Two battle. And as you were saying there, like there's so many big names that have taken, you know, backroom team jobs. When you think about it, like you've obviously, as you mentioned there, Mickey Graham obviously going to going to Leitrim as well. Uh, Eamon Murray and with Mead, Stephen O'Neill, obviously, um, you know, in there as well. Or uh, Stephen O'Neill's in the background with Cavan, actually, I should say. So, like, you've, you've, you've so, Eamon Murray's in with Cavan as well. You've so many, like, big names who are coming in to, to counties as, you know, number twos. And then you've got younger managers as, uh, you know, as the front. So, it's going to be an interesting dynamic next season. It really is, and we were mentioning off air there that uh, Paddy Taddy's in the backroom team for Kerry, you have, uh, Kevin Walsh in the backroom team for Cork, um, Oshie McConville has been rumoured, oh, oh, that was Tom Mill, sorry about that, but um, you have, uh, I think, Kieran Donahue's in the backroom team for Armagh, I think um, Conor Gilligan's going into the backroom team again next season, um, you have you have some, you have Stephen Rothford in at Mayo, like, you have a load of managers there that that are number twos or number threes that you think they're able for number ones or they're big names. And it's absolutely incredible in its own right. It should be very interesting to see that, as you mentioned there, that dynamic in the championship next season. And um, yeah, I'm all for it. I'm all for um, some exciting uh, number twos next season. And um, yeah, some um, some exciting um, pairings to to see in Division 2 and Division 1 in the NLC next season. And of course, in the All-Ireland series. And um uh, there was confirmation that actually Paddy Talley staying on a Kerry, Kevin Walsh staying on a Cork. So I don't know, is this a new fashion or this um, big managers or big coaches go and take the number two job and to help another guy along? I don't know what, what it is about. It's the new fashion, but to be honest, I'm all for it because it means more managers in the game. There's 32 counties. If you have excellent number twos in all counties, you have 64 very good managers. So that is absolutely brilliant, St. Ferris, in terms of entertainment, in terms of media. And yeah, I'm all for it for next season. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, no, it does seem to be a, a common trend, all right. And as you said there, like you could list off a number of, you know, assistant managers or, or, or backroom team personnel, and you could distribute them to, to a number of different counties throughout, you know, the country in terms of managers. So um, yeah, it, it is quite interesting.